Oh, hey, what's happening, man? Hey, what's going on? My name is uh, DC. <laughs> As you can tell, I'm a fan of 23. Yeah, yeah. Look back there, 23. Listen, um, you ever want to know how to draw like bubble letters, but uh, you always have a hard time drawing bubble letters? Even if not bubble letters, box letters such as these. Well, today I'm going to try to show you how to do that. Um, I don't know if anybody has come up with this, but I haven't seen it on YouTube. But uh, I've created this thing I call the 15 box letter rule, right? It's a rectangle and then it has like, you know, uh, three columns going across and five going down. And using that rule of thumb, you can create any letter in the alphabet that you want. And, and with ease as well. And um, you can also use that, apply it to create any, um, like if you want to do your name for uh, a project, or if you want to do your name for moms or, or for, for dad or something you could put on your wall, you can use this rule anytime you want and it'll be easy to do. So I'm going to try to show you how to create these letters. Now these right here, this is more of the, uh, you know, uh, graffiti, but we won't worry about these. So I'm going to try to teach you how to do these right here, okay? So first things first, um, is <clears throat> in order to create those letters, the only thing you need to do is, and then once you create this, you can create any letter you want, okay? So you can do a rectangle. And then once you create this rectangle, you want to break it down into three columns. Going across. And you're going to draw five, four lines. <clears throat> One, two, three, and four. So, oh, yeah, don't mind the second line. But with these four columns, right, with this... 15 box letter rule right here, you can create any letter in the alphabet that you want. So, um, I'm going to start off with, you know, one letter and uh, go from there, right? I'm going to show you how I, show you how I did the C and then we're going to go through all the letters in the alphabets. So, I've created, so I started with this. I don't know if you should be able to see this, but, um, so we're gonna start with the letter A, right? So what happens in this box right here is, if you look at this little corner on this, if you look at this little corner here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna connect, the, you're gonna connect here to this end right here in this bottom, and then this square over here, you're gonna connect this end to that end right here. Okay, and uh, once you connect those two, that's the most important part as far as your letter A. And all we have to do here is make the top and then bring this line all the way straight down to the bottom. Same in this end. In the middle part, all we have to do is in uh, this square right here. We're going to create that square right there. And then this line right here in this bottom part, we're going to make the bottom part of that. And that's how you do the letter A. For the letter B, all we need to do is the most important part, so this um, third column, this box right here. We're going to slant this box, and we're going to slant this box, this one right here. And then the middle column, we're going to make a greater sign, or less than sign. So we're going to go right in the middle, and then go like that. So all that happens in that one box, right? And then we're going to close it out. And then um, this middle box right here, we're gonna do the same thing with the letter A. And we're gonna do the bottom part as well. And you got your letter B. For the letter C, uh, we're gonna do what we did similar to these little ends over here, and the same with the A. All we need for the most part is this bottom, this. Uh, top row and the bottom row, okay? And we're gonna slant this first one and that one right there, connect the middle. And we're gonna also slant this bottom row and then slant the bottom row. Right? 
and then uh, this middle part we're going to connect like so and then down here we're just going to drag it down to the bottom well not all the way to the bottom but the connector then here on the ends we're going to stop here in the second column and go in same thing on this end going to pull it up second column go like this The letter C, right? And on to the letter D. So the letter D is going to be similar to um, the letter C is going to be similar to the letter. I mean, the letter D is going to be similar to the letter B or the letter C. The only difference is you're not even going to be missing this middle part. Okay. So the most important part with the letter D is we slant this end right here. We slant this end right here. And connect here. Go straight back. We take it all the way down. And then this middle part, all we need to do literally is just go straight down on the, uh, to the middle part. Okay. That's what we do. And then for the letter E, we go straight. Uh, that's the first column. Go in. Come down, the third row, go out, come down, come back in, um, and then go back. Now the other thing too with the, with the E, this middle part, you can either go away to the end, or you can stop it here in this middle one, and then continue on. And now for the letter F, is similar to the E. Okay, the only difference is you're, you're gonna be missing this bottom part. The letter F, we're gonna go down. So here we're gonna be a little different. Instead of going all the way to the end, we're just gonna stop it in this middle one. The third row. And then we're gonna go to the letter G. So the letter G is gonna be similar to the letter C. The only difference is this part over here, we're gonna bring that in to make the letter G. So the letter G, we're gonna slant, slant. Now here, we're not going to go all the way up to the top, we're just going to stop there in the end and then bring it in some. And you got your letter G, right? And then for the letter H, now I know the measurements here are a little off, but you know, uh, if you want to, you can bring it even higher. Up here, you can bring even higher to make, so that you know it's even and equally balanced. Okay, now for the letter H, we're going to be doing the same thing we did similar to the letter A, but the only difference is we're not going to connect the top, we're not going to connect the bottom. So, what we have to do here is make a U and, and another one. Now for the letter I, you can just basically use this middle column to make your letter I. Or what I like to do is I like to add the little top part and then the bottom part of the I. Now you got the letter I. So now we're gonna go to the letter J. So the letter J, you just need the first column and the bottom part and this back column. Uh, the most important part as far as the J is you just slant this bottom row in that corner and you slant this corner right here. And we'll go 
akun Kemudian juga submit Microsoft And then for the letter K, the letter K is similar to how we did the letter B in that we're going to do the greatest sign or less than sign in the middle uh, box and that's the only thing that we need to do, okay? So, um, and then it's almost similar to the letter H as well. So it's like doing the letter H, the only thing is you're going to slant this. And you got your letter K. Um, and now on to the letter L. Uh, with the letter L, it's similar to the letter F, except it's upside down, right? So with the letter L, you only need this 